Muslim refugees found refuge not in their own land because their own land denied them. So Islam emphasized on supporting those people who do not have anything. The image that spurred many Canadians was the image of that young boy who washed up on the shores, drowned. I think it just woke people to the reality of refugee crisis. Ikna Relief Canada was thinking, what can we do? We decided to sponsor 100 Syrian refugee families. We also came to know that in Brentford, there are other groups are interested in sponsoring. I personally invited all the sponsor groups under one roof, people with faith, people with no faith, different church groups, different traditions. It was just an honor to be asked, would I be interested in something like this? For most of us, it was a real experience. None of us would had any connection with the immigration process at all. They've been very supportive of us uh, right from the get-go, assuring us that the Muslim community would be very much part of the support network. As far as our relationship with the mosque, I didn't have one until then. The mosque people have taken all of us in, I mean, literally like family, and it has just been phenomenal. Two days after of that event, our first family arrived, so we did not have anything. We asked all our friends and neighbors and everybody that we could for what could they donate. And it was amazing what people came forward and donated. The family fundamentally is thriving, quite honestly. They're really fitting in well, and uh, I think the future is very bright for them. It's lovely to see a family coming from such a vulnerable situation, really making a new life for themselves and contributing in such a positive way to what we live and espouse together as, as Canadians. We believe any humanitarian work cannot be done alone. And I found there are many good hearts, regardless of their faith, background, language, color, ethnicity, identity. We really try to make everybody involved and learn more about each other. And in doing so, it helps to break down barriers. In the last few years, I'm very encouraged to see that the Muslim community has come forward and keep sponsoring families. And it's great to hear and know that the BBR program does exist. Then organization like RSTP is there to train the settlement volunteers. And then we need real people uh, to welcome these families and help them to settle and integrate to the new community. I think one of the advantages of, uh, of a small town is that you know people are really interested and curious. We had a welcome event for our first two families when they first arrived and we had to rent out the, the Paris fairgrounds. So many people came to this welcome event, over 200 people. Felt very proud to be Canadian. Brantford has a heart, a very big heart. It's important for other communities to know that if we can do it, so can you. It, it's important that, that uh, the people in Ontario and Canada um, learn that we can all open our hearts to refugees and to people in need. The refugee camps to me is open prison. No children in refugee camps has opportunity to be educated the way our children have opportunity to be educated. No children has opportunity to dream big because they do not know how their future to look like. After refugee sponsorship, these children have equal opportunity like any other children. And these refugee children tomorrow can be our prime minister. There is a great need to ensure that everyone feels that they have a safe space. Everybody needs a place that they can call home. Refugee sponsorship empowers people, give them opportunity to show their best. People have so much to offer us. We have so much to learn, so much to gain. If I can do something to help those people and rescue their lives, then it's worth every minute of my time. You change the identity of people from statelessness, you give them a state. From identity crisis, you give them identity, now Canadian identity. From no dream, you give them dream. From hopelessness, you give them hope.